Hello, Potato! So, the Disney Store Key, the store opening key, the key to imagination, has a bit of a history. If you've never been to a Disney store, or at least never been to one on opening, every day, at least pre-end of the world, there was a little ceremony, and it's changed over the years, where one person is selected, usually a child, if one is available, to perform the store opening ceremony. And I know for one series of stores, it used to be like a Sorcerer's Apprentice themed thing, because I've seen that for, but most recently it has been, or it was, a thing where they have they bring out this giant keyblade looking thing and a child uses it to, to unlock the store and begin the day. And as a as a memento of their doing this, they got to keep a small version of that key, the Disney store opening key. And this one's mine. Um, I did not get to wield the key to imagination, the big one unfortunately. When I got mine it was Christmas time in 2019 and they were doing a train theme. So basically you conducted the train along the pixie path up to the cash registers, and then you got your key. That's mine, and they have uh, they were just kind of a cute little fun thing if you could get one. And then in 2018, they decided to do something a little different. So at the end of Mickey Mouse Memories, for Mickey's actual anniversary, uh, that, sun that Sunday they did a thing where you could get, with purchase, a free Mickey Mouse themed store opening key. And there's mine right up there. I'm not going to take it down because it's just kind of a pain to take down. And uh, it was really popular. I mean, it was, uh, the line for it was in line with the lines for things like Mickey Mouse Memories. I know because I was in it, uh, a lot, obviously, since I have a key along with, I think, pretty much any cast member not on the schedule for that day. And yeah, it was a cute thing, and then they decided they would do, you know, because it was really popular, it did, it did really well, so they would do some more of these keys. And know they, they did Minnie Mouse, they did Aladdin, and they did... who else do I have around here? They did, of course, Star Wars Day. They did more and more of them, Donald Duck, and uh, they were popular, and it's a little sad, because, of course, they're doing more and more keys, while they have less and less stores. So the thing that these relate to, the opening of the store, is going to eventually not be a thing. But the keys will somehow remain, which is sadly ironic. And I bring that up because uh, they've now, this year, in 2021, moved into doing blind box keys. They tried them out for Valentine's Day. They did like some like love-themed keys to imagination, and I guess it did well enough. I personally did not buy any. I kind of thought they looked I mean, these are cheap to begin with, they're just little plastic Disney keys. I thought they looked pretty cheap. I didn't think they looked that good. I didn't like the way the glitter was applied to them. And, you know, seeing various videos of people opening them, I just, I wasn't impressed. They're actually still on the shelf at my surviving Disney store. Uh, I could have bought some the other day when I was in there, and I still haven't. I'm just, I'm not interested in that particular set. And there are different, like, ones that are really hard to get. There's a D23 Expo one, which they've made a pin out of in the uh, new blind box Disney key pin set, which, you know, look forward to that, because, yes, I'm going to order some of those. And they've done what's like, they like, Canada got the exclusive Duke Kaboom figure. And then they've done weird things, like, in the UK, at least as of now, they've had, I believe, the Stitch key, and they've had the It's a Small World key, and we haven't had those here. Although, again, the Stitch key is being made into a pin for the new blind box set for that. And uh, basically, they went from being a giveaway item to being something you paid, I think, $12.99 for, and then now uh, currently $14.99, the Star Wars Day key was $14.99, and they've done the blind boxes again, and, you know, just to prove how schmucky we are, of course, I bought some. I bought a few. I bought seven, to be exact. Some of these came from Shop Disney, some came from the Disney Store, but we have seven of them to open today. There are six in the set, and let's take a look at the box. So they're the same, so the actual one, no, <clears throat> take it back, they're not the same mold as this key. Because once they decided to make keys for everything, they realized they couldn't all just have the Disney castle on them, right? So like the Marvel keys are a little different, the Pixar keys have the Luxo Jr. on them, and less creatively, the Star Wars keys just have the word Star Wars on them, they're not, not super impressive in that part, but they are what they are. And there are six of them to try to get in this set. And those six are, looking at the box here, we have R2-D2, 
We have C-3PO. We have Master Yoda. We have Chewbacca. We have BB-8, who I'm gonna put behind this box so you can't see him. There, that fixes that. And finally, we have a mystery key. Ooh, what is in the mystery box? The mystery key is, spoilers, an Ewok key. Now, uh, we'll use Wicket for that. Now, you guys know these are all toy box figures except for Wicket. They have strangely never done, to my knowledge anyways, never done a toy box figure of an Ewok. You'd think Wicket would be an obvious choice, but they haven't done them yet. So this Wicket actually came from those old, that, that year they tried to make Star Wars dolls, like crossed with Bratz dolls. Is that called Forces of Destiny or something like that? Uh, yeah, this came out of the Endor Leia, one of those, because they had it on clearance for like 10 bucks at Target, and how could I not? So yeah, today we're gonna open up all of, well, maybe if we're lucky, we're gonna open up only six of these, and we'll get all of them without having to open all of them, but that seems unlikely. Uh, of course, just as likely, we will get seven of the same key. But that's today. Today we're gonna open up, and hopefully, hopefully, at the end of this video, each one of these little figures will have their very own key sitting in front of them. And uh, in typical blind bag style, they are both in a box and a plastic bag inside. I haven't opened any yet. I just, I've seen videos, people opening them. So like, you know, lots of extra wasted packaging, which is always nice, always nice. So let's open up our first one here. At least we know the first one won't be a duplicate because it'll be Chewbacca. He's got his little bandolier, We've got the Star Wars teeth. Focus on that. Yep, nicely textured, kind of look on of the fur. That's not bad at all. And unlike a lot of the keys you get as giveaway items, it's not warped, which is a uh, definitely a plus. A Disney plus. All right, so we got one Chewy. What do we got next? Yep, uh, open it up. Next we have, are these bags? No, they're not see-through at all. They are, you can sort of see through them. I don't know if I showed them a video, but I can see which key this is without taking it out. The bags are not solid. All right, let's uh, take out what I believe is gonna be BB-8. Yep, got ourselves a BB-8 key. And again, kind of patterned after everybody's marketable little droid from the third trilogy. Orange and white, very bright. The colors, I think, are very vivid on this. Of course, I don't. I don't think that's odd, is it? I mean, they usually are pretty vivid on these keys. I did see a key that was just kind of. Ooh, that's kind of dull and gray, isn't it? Although I'm guessing maybe maybe if they do a Cruella de Vil key, I could see them doing a Cruella key with Cruella coming out. All right, number three, big money, big money, no whammies. No, we have our first duplicate. We have a second BB-8 key. Well, we made it two without a duplicate, but maybe maybe that's it. Maybe the next five will all be, next four will all be the ones that I still need. I can count. Who do we have here? Hopefully not BB-8. And nope, I'm seeing blue. It's R2-D2. Oops, get out without breaking it. All right, so we have our R2 key. Again, nicely color matched. Got his little, his little front detail on the key itself. Kind of just line it up. All right, so that's three. We have three out of the six. We're at the halfway point. We have three to go. We could theoretically do this. I'm not betting money on it, but it could theoretically happen. It's a thing that, that could happen in the future, or well, in my past, when you see this. Because when you see this, I'll have edited it and be well and over with this. Unless I end up having to buy some more of them and do them in a future video. But that would be like a Wednesday video or maybe even as part of a Friday video. And we have another duplicate. We have another Chewbacca. So we're definitely not getting everything today. We're not getting the whole set. Uh, I've got two left. I mean, they're nice keys. I don't know anybody else who's collecting them who, who needs them. So I don't know what I'll do with these duplicates, but they'll, well, they'll probably go in the box. We have duplicates of a lot of the keys because we, we frequently both buy one. Oh, we got another Chewbacca here. We do. Three Chewies. Well, that's disappointing. We have one left though. 
Who should we hope for? We won't get him. Who should we hope for? I'm gonna hope for... I'm gonna hope for Yoda. I'm gonna hope for Yoda there. But yeah, maybe we'll revisit these again. If I go to the Disney store and they still have some more of these, maybe I'll buy a few more packs and see if we can't complete the set like I did with the, uh, the pins, the first series of key pins. And our last key, the final key, the ultimate key today is, hey, the force was with me, it's Yoda. All right, so we got his uh, kind of tunic going on there. Yoda green key, not bad. Not a bad key. I do like again that they're all in good shape. They're not bent up. A lot of the times the, the uh, freebie ones, the ones that don't come in the boxes, and maybe that's part of why they put them in the boxes now, I don't know. But a lot of the freebie ones come uh, a little warped. I think it's really more to do with how they, like, just probably have a box of them loose in the warehouse than it is to do with anything to do with shipping. Although let's, you know, Shop Disney shipping is not always the best. But you can see they're basically the same mold, just the teeth are different between the Disney keys and the Star Wars keys. Oh, that's not bad. We uh, bought seven boxes. We got four of them. We got three duplicates. Sadly, uh, we got two duplicates of Chewy. Uh, no Ewok, no C-3PO, but like I said, maybe I'll go buy two or three more of them if I'm at the if I'm at that mall again, and they still have them, and we'll try our luck again. But yep, that's it for this week. This is gonna be a short one. Yes, I've done a lot of long ones recently. This is not one of them. I hope you found this all interesting or entertaining. If you did, please give the video a like and make sure you subscribe to the channel. And well, I guess if you're watching this on the day it comes out, that makes this the Revenge of the Sixteenth. Yeah, Revenge of the 15th wasn't funny yesterday. Revenge of the 16th isn't funny today. And of course, if you're watching it after today, today being the day I publish it, then uh, it doesn't even make any sense. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.